All right, come on guys, check it out. So even in Southern California where it just doesn't rain that often, you can still find riparian habitat. That is gonna be habitat that thrives around water. And right here, we have a little stream of water that's trickling down. Let's check out what species are there. And you know why? Because everybody needs water. Come on, check it out. So a variety of species are gonna be found here. Anywhere from like snakes, wasps, millipedes, centipedes, you name it. Water is super essential for everybody. And right here you can see the water trickling down. I can already see a whole bunch of bees and wasps. They're venomous, they have a stinger of course. And look at that right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, look. Now, if you ever see black and white on a snake, it's an excellent snake to have around. Let me tell you why, come on. This right here is a California king snake. Now, everybody's gonna scream, oh my gosh, it's venomous. But actually, it's not. This is a safe snake in California, which means it is going to be non-venomous. The way you can tell is because of that pointy tail. As long as you see a pointy tail in California, you're gonna be looking at a safe snake. Now this rule does not apply for other states, especially like Texas and Louisiana. Do not touch pointy tailed snakes, it'd be bad for you. But in California, if it has a pointy tail, you're pretty much good. They can get very big. This is a very small one. I would say about a year, maybe almost two years old. They can get up to about six feet in length. They eat a variety of different species of lizards, rodents, birds, you name it, and rattlesnakes. That's why this guy is called the king snake. If you find one of these beautiful little guys in your backyard, trust me, it's an excellent snake to have because they're gonna make sure your property is safe, especially from rattlesnakes. What an amazing, little animal that is so beautiful we'll let him go he's probably trying to get a drink over here so let me just set him down and let's check out some of our other animals these guys are venomous and they are buzzing around pretty busy here you go little buddy So here we have, buzzing around really quickly, are a bunch of bees. I don't know if these are European bees or what exactly that they are. I know we do have native species of bees, but bees are going to be venomous, including wasps. They have a stinger that they use in order to stab and inject venom into something that they want to defend themselves from. They will not use it for predation. They are really going to use it for defense, but only if they are provoked. Notice I'm standing right here, letting them get some water to drink and whatever else that they're doing over here next to the, the water itself. And they're not bothering me. They're not going to bother you either. As long as you leave them alone. Now, should you be scared of bees and wasps because they're venomous? No, not really. They're not actually out to get you. They want to be left alone. But in terms of who causes the most fatalities in the United States, bees come in at number four. The reason why is because a good majority of people are allergic to the venom of bees and wasps, and thus their body responds in a really, really bad way. That is known as an allergic reaction or anaphylactic shock. Now you can take Benadryl. You wanna document how much you took and at what time before you seek medical attention, just to make sure everybody's on the same page and watch out to prevent your face and neck from a whole lot of swelling, because eventually you're not going to be able to breathe. So make sure we leave our beautiful little buzzing friends alone and let them keep making that sweet honey that we all love and enjoy. 